time now to get to our trader rundown and Joe is standing by for us today. Joe, what can you tell us? Thank you, Andy. This is Trader Rundown. On Wednesday, we saw the market open up 1% in the S&P 500, and it sold off to down on the day. Now, what happened? We had money moving in to tech. We saw NASDAQ doing a lot better. Money moving out of value, uh, certainly an interesting play, a little distribution going on. We also had a lot of volatility in bonds, the 10-year up 10% at one point in yield, so certainly uh, some big movement there. And I like to watch bonds when it comes to the 4 PE ratio, when it comes to expectations for earnings going forward. You look back at the look back in the last three years, the lower interest rates go, the higher that forward PE rent, meaning the market was expecting these big companies to be able to take advantage of these low interest rates have a lower credit risk and be able to put that money to work uh, and really create a better multiple on that expansion than the money, the money that they're borrowing. So that's something that I'll be watching uh, going forward. And now the flip side of that is though, uh, the lower these interest rates go with these higher multiples, the higher the volatility is. Now this was true before COVID, uh, it is true after COVID, maybe even more so, the more debt that gets put on the, the book. So that's what we'll be watching. And maybe that's one of the reasons why the VIX remains above 30 even we, after we've seen this tremendous tremendous rally now other reasons of course are out there uh, we're not through this covid situation we're just about to reopen some parts of the economy will there be a second wave uh, there's a lot of unknowns still about covid uh and you know maybe there could be positive unknowns too like a treatment coming on sooner than expected uh on top of all that we still have the election out there so that's another wrinkle another few, uh, more fuel to right into this fire as we go forward so it's just gonna be an interesting time uh, for me and for me uh it just remains more true than ever uh bonds are not an effective hedge against uh, a portfolio right now the best hedge for me remains to be volatility for more business first am check us out on social media we're on facebook youtube and twitter and go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on tv